Seven days, seven sunrises, and one photographer with the desire to become an early riser. The challenge has begun. Let's go. Some people may be thinking, dude, I do this every day. <laughs> well, I am not a morning person. My whole life has been a struggle of trying to get up early or to an alarm clock. And even if I do manage to do so, my productivity doesn't really kick in until about 8 p.m. This is a scene that I have shot before. We've got the moon in the background this time instead of a sunset. I'm waiting for the cars to clear this road before I take a shot as I don't really want to bump my ISO up massively to free some emotion and I also left all of my filters at home today so I can't pop an ND on and get a long exposure of these car trails. I'm a landscape and outdoor photographer and if you Google search the best time of day to go out and take pictures, it will tell you blue hour, golden hour, sunrise, sunset. I want to be one of those photographers who rises early to capture the sun, one of those people who can get up and then be productive for the rest of their day and not feel physically nauseous because they've woken up before 8am. <laughs> Apparently really successful people wake up very early in the mornings. I am successfully cold. Now realistically we're not going to get a good sunrise every single day this week and I think this is, this is one of those days. I scouted this place a couple of weeks ago and I thought it would be interesting as over this landscape we've got the River Severn over in the background which is kind of blending into this flat cloud. We've got pockets of town and village, we've got a couple of smallish hills. Unfortunately this cloud is not shifting at all this morning, the sun is up, the day has started and I'm ready to leave. <laughs> So I felt the need for a bit of a forest recharge today. I recently read a book about the mind, how it works, how it's programmed throughout your life and how you can reprogram it. At the beginning of this video I stated that I am not a morning person and that is embedded into my subconscious mind as a fact because I have been telling myself that ever since I was young. So when I do try to wake up early in the morning, my mind automatically goes, no, you can't do that. Is seven days enough to reprogram my brain? Who knows? Oh, 
Well, we've just made it in time, though actually it doesn't look like we're going to get any light or colour this morning. I'm really starting to flag a bit now. <laughs> what is this, day four? I don't even know. This limestone rock formation here is apparently called the Devil's Chimney. So the story goes that the devil a very, very long time ago would sit upon this hill and throw rocks down at churchgoers. Eventually, the rocks began to be thrown back at him, which drove him underground. And that is his chimney. <laughs> People used to place coins on top of the stack as a payment to keep him underground. Unfortunately, I don't have a coin with me, nor can I reach it. So stay there and don't follow me home. hoping I get my second wind up for the rest of the week, <laughs> otherwise it's going to be a rough couple of days. On a scale of one to five, how motivated am I this morning? An absolute zero. So I was here for the sunrise and we had some brief colour in the sky, but I was really struggling to find a balanced composition at this location. Now, this is a location that I don't really photograph often. It's not my usual type of photography. So I'm not sure if the location put me off, the fact that I'm just tired and cold, or the fear that somebody is gonna steal my tripod. I'm gonna put this one down as a no-go and I think we're just gonna crack on with what I believe is probably day five. I'm definitely feeling a bit more inspired than yesterday, but then again, this is a location that I definitely would enjoy a bit more. <laughs> I've debated this location quite a few times and I've always been really hesitant to come out here because this is a location that is, it's absolutely beautiful, but it has been photographed a hundred times, a thousand times. It's quite a restricted viewing point looking down at this bend in the river. I don't believe that there's a huge amount of room for uniqueness and creativity. Everybody seems to get just about the same kind of shot here and that definitely put me off. I'm quite short and these walls are actually quite high so I'm really struggling to position my camera to either get them out of frame or to include them in the foreground and for me to still be able to see my LCD screen. <laughs> I enjoyed this location a lot more than I thought I would and so this is definitely a place that I could return to in the future. Can't say that we're finishing off with a banger of a sunrise but you know. Did getting up become easier? No. <laughs> but I did it every single day, which proves that I can. I think this could be an exciting project to do in the warmer months where sunrises are just a little more exciting, a little more colourful, or maybe even do a sunset project. <laughs> <laughs>